We've seen rates go from essentially 3% to 7.5% in a short period of time just because inflation's been out of control and they're trying to offset inflation by increasing interest rates, which we feel like is probably going to lead to a recession. Obviously, it's hard to predict. We don't know when it has a crystal ball um, as far as timeline on this. Rates are right now in the, are in the sevens. We're going to be seeing going in the next six to 12 months. What can buyers or sellers do <laughs> about this? So where they go is still somewhat of an unknown. I don't think the worst has already transpired. Every single day, we're opening up MBS Highway, hoping to see green and it continues to be red, which means the demand for mortgage-backed securities is getting worse. The 10-year treasury keeps increasing. It's over 4.3 today. Long story short, we do feel like rates might get a little worse before they get better until inflation's under control, until you know we're in a full-blown recession, until they can stabilize inflation. I think you know rates could continue to rise. Post-recession, we're going to see rates come back down. Every time in history that there's been a recession, interest rates have fallen. So you know, I think in the next 18 to 24 months, I think we're going to be back into a rate environment somewhere in the four and a quarter to four and a half percent range when the dust settles, but it could be a bumpy ride to get there. So obviously the reason why we got on this talk is to talk about this new program you guys have is 2-1 buy down. What is what's its purpose? We're excited. We're always adapting and trying to change and trying to cater products to the market, right? And we rolled out this product called a temporary 2-1 buy down. It's a one-time fee to be paid by the seller that allows the buyer to enter into year one of the loan with a discounted interest rate of 2% minus the market rate and in year two, 1% minus the market rate. So the example you and I talked about earlier, on a $300,000 house, if the buyer was putting 20% down, say rates today are 7%, so year one, the buyer would pay a rate of 5%, year two would be 6%. Well, in year one, that saves them $308 a month, and year two, it's $158 a month. So the buyer doesn't have to enter into that high rate environment because the seller can kind of front that discounted portion on the buyer's behalf. So on the seller side, in that scenario, it costs $5,592. So it's a one-time, basically, seller contribution on the purchase contract that allows the buyer to really benefit, get in with a lower interest rate and lower payments. They're kind of combating the market. Um, and not feeling so much the brunt uh, and the pain. So the flip side of that is a $5,500 price reduction only discounts the monthly payment by $37. So rather than do a price reduction, if you're a seller, you could offer the temporary buy down, which the buyer is going to benefit far more for in our opinion, because we do feel like in that 24 month period before you know they would reach the full fully amortized rate, that interest rates are going to come down and there's going to be a refinance opportunity. So they start to loan it say 5%, then they go to six. And typically, you know, before year three, we feel like rates are going to be down and then they can refinance in that, you know, four and a quarter to four and a half percent range that we feel like is coming in the future. So it's a great way to lower the payment and kind of, I guess, soften the blow of a higher rate is you're, you're incentivized by being in a discounted rate for year one. And then also in year two, it goes up by a point and then it normalizes in year three and beyond and stays fixed at that amount, correct? Yeah, so it's still a 30 year fix. There's no risk of it going higher. So if rates don't come back down and rates are 11, 12, 13%, the buyer is still at that full fully amortized rate year three and beyond. So it's not going to continue to go up after year two. Based on everything that we're hearing in the market, we feel like rates will come back down. We do feel like there's going to be an opportunity to refinance probably in the next 18 months, but no more than 24 months from now. Um, from an underwriting perspective, I guess they're approved based off of that fully amortized rate, correct? So going in in year three and beyond, they're basically qualified by the underwriter saying, hey, this person can afford it at that, that, that rate. That's right. Yeah. So they, they would have to qualify based on the fully amortized rate. So for conventional borrowers, it requires a 660 credit score. And the majority of the loans that we do, you know, are kind of in that bucket already. So FHA and VA buyers, it's not, you know, don't have access to the program, but conventional borrowers with at least a 660, there's no certain down payment required either. So I think it's going to be really advantageous, something that helps buyers and helps sellers. I think you can market it to sellers, you can put it in a listing presentation, show them, hey, instead of, you know, advertising a price reduction, we can advertise this. It's going to make your listing more appealing because once we convey what this is to the buyer, it's going to make sense. There's really no downside or, or any fee involved to do it. Yeah. And I, that's a question I might get from buyers is why would a seller do this? Obviously, the market isn't the same as what it was you know, 12 months ago when we're seeing bidding wars in every house with a lower rate. So it's I tell buyers, pick your poison. You either want lower rates, but you're having bidding wars and you're going having to pay above way above asking price or taking on inherent risk by waiving inspections or covering appraisal gaps. Yep. Now we're more in the market as it stabilizes and normalizes. We're going to see houses last longer in the market. Maybe you're the only offer involved. So the seller's going to be more willing to negotiate with a buyer to get their house sold. And here's a great way where they can offer an incentive. Like, hey, we'll basically discount your rate by offering a, a seller credit. That, um, you say we have to put on the contract. Yep. And what's the typical amount that we would have to ask for? I know there's like a specific calculation, but is there a ballpark figure that can tell people? So, or I think example, for 300000 yep, it was about... Example. 
Yeah, on the example we went through, if the buyer was putting 20% down, purchase price was 300,000 to be about a $5,500 credit. So it's gonna okay. fluctuate based on loan amount and down payment. But again, you're gonna get far more for that money than you would doing a price reduction. The price reduction isn't gonna give you that big payment difference that this 2-1 buy down is gonna provide. So I think it's a great alternative. Yeah, so instead of going in with, hey, we want a price reduction for seller credit for closing costs, we can go in saying, hey, we're gonna do a, a rate reduction using this 2-1 two, two yep. buy down program. Basically, they'll talk to you to find out what that dollar amount would be and we put that amount in the contract for the closing cost credit. So I think it's a great program. I think it's a great way to kind of battle this uncertainty or this apprehension about getting in the market because of, of rates is the way they can kind of get incentivized with the discounted rate and then knowing, hey, if rates do come back down in the future, they can always refinance later and, right. and, and get a fixed term lower rate going forward. Going back to the qualification. So again, no FHA, no VA. You have to qualify for conventional, which is a 660 credit score and above. But the down payment, you can do, you can even this as low as 3%, correct? Yep, absolutely. 3% down if you're a first time home buyer, 5% down if you've purchased a home before. So again, great incentive for buyers. And I didn't realize this until we got on this call was, this is also a great incentive for sellers because they can advertise this program as a way to incentivize buyers coming in if they're having a house that's sitting on the market and it's taking a little longer to sell, they can maybe advertise this with the listing agent, which, which hopefully would be me to, to promote this product as a way for buyers to come in. Like, hey, we have for you know, this price, it's gonna be you know, a lower rate, which is gonna be about 2% of the current rates of where they're at right now. Thanks, Tony. I don't wanna make this video too long, sure. but uh, you guys still also have the cash for keys and buy and sell later. Can you briefly go over that real quick if people haven't sure. heard of that? Yeah, kind of broad overview. So cash to keys is a program where we can pre-approve a buyer they go through underwriting just like they would if we were doing a platinum pre-approval, we can actually pre-approve them as a cash buyer. So it guarantees the sale. So if we need a quick close, it's gonna help the buyers stand out in the crowd because they're gonna be able to write cash. We'll still try to get the loan done within the parameters, but we guarantee the sale in cash. We'll pay cash for the house and sell it back to them if we don't close by the, the set closing date. Cash to keys, or I'm sorry, buy now, sell later is a program to where if the seller has a home they wanna sell, they can't tap into that equity, we'll actually pay cash for the house they have access to the house right away. Once they sell their house, then we finance, you know, we finish the, the loan for them. So it allows them to write as a cash buyer without a home sale contingency. So these are these are programs now where you know, we've gone out there, we've been innovative. We really wanna convey the message that a savvy buyer is gonna purchase now, right? Six months ago in rates for threes, everybody wanted to purchase a home, but like you said, they were giving away all risk, they're waiving inspections, guaranteeing appraisals, paying over list price, whereas I think there's an opportunity now. So if somebody purchases now, they get the right house, they're paying less, and you know, 42% of all listings are seeing price reductions right now. So you can get a house for less, you can get what you want, you can have your home inspection, you don't have to guarantee appraisals, and then so that you don't feel the pain, you can use something like this temporary buy down to get into the market and make it more affordable. And then you can refinance when rates do come down. So. I think getting that message across and making people understand that now is actually a great time to buy for those reasons should make total sense. And of course, if they have questions, you know, you and I consult with them and better explain things. I said this offline, but I'll say it here on the recording. And I just think it's great that you guys always kind of stay up with the times with the current markets and coming up with these programs and, and being innovative to be competitive, to offer solutions for problems that our current market is, is seeing, whether it be you know, last year with it being, you know, having to be competitive and now trying to battle higher interest rates. I think it's great you guys come up with these programs to help them incentivize buyers to solve these problems that people are facing. So thank you. Appreciate you always coming out with stuff. And I guess it's a test to Annie Mac and when, on how they're staying innovative with the current times. I appreciate it. All right. Enjoy your weekend. We'll talk soon. Thanks. Have a good one.